Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is um, a comparison. I'm looking at the new dev test version. Dev test version uh, 2.0 just dropped in dev test, so we got a lot of balance changes. And uh, actually, a, a few patches ago, we got updated to the new Unity 5. Um, I haven't tried that out at all yet, and it's supposed to have. Um, some good performance um, boosts so I'm gonna do a battle here I've got uh, some of the entries from Battle Wagon Smash loaded in and um, we're gonna have them battle and then I'll keep an eye on the FPS I'm not sure if it shows up in the videos but I have like the steam overlay that shows my FPS in the top right corner right now with just these loaded in and nothing happening at 45 FPS, which is actually really good. I think it's better, um, if I recall, than it was in uh, the other one. But we'll we'll run this battle again in the uh, the public version in uh, Unity 4, and uh, just take a look at uh, how much of a boost we get um, on my machine. So we have uh, this is what do we have here? The Titan Buster Super Heavy. Oh, I should have looked up who these were by. I believe this one was by Thompson. Do I even have that? Um, yeah, I don't even have the uh, the paperwork anymore, so I, I should have looked it up. But that's the the Titan Buster Super Heavy, and then this is the uh, oh the T thirty four seventy six. Yeah, this is before I started making you guys put your uh, names in the, the file name. I think I want to say this one was by Ferrum Four. Uh, I'm probably mixing it up. I've had so many tournament entries, so many different uh, players. It's hard to keep track of everything. But these were two of my favorite designs from the tournament. Just like I thought they were the best looking, and so I think they would have a, a good battle here um, for us to watch while we're kind of doing our tests. And uh, just just right off the bat, everything it feels smoother. I don't I I don't know if that's going to translate into the video, but everything. I know in, in 4.0 just like kind of moving around just felt a little bit jerky where this feels a lot smoother and uh, the the graphics just feel crisper too like to my eye everything just seems to be a little bit sharper doesn't look I don't know kind of out of focus or anything like that maybe better anti-aliasing or something like that but uh, looks looks real nice I know we got uh, new textures and um, like some of the parts got new models, so I'm, I'm probably seeing a bit of that as well. But overall, yeah, it just seems a lot smoother. Okay, let's go ahead, just unpause, and watch what the FPS does, and kind of see what the lag looks like. Yeah, this actually, this looks way better. Right now, I know you guys can't see it, I'm hovering around 30 FPS. Oh, just took a big dip down to about 17. But overall, seeing right about 20 FPS with you know little spikes and uh, drops. Haven't hasn't dropped below 15. Those new uh, new explosions look really nice too. Overall, the, the graphics look a, a lot better. I, mean, I really didn't mind the uh, the graphics before, but uh, the the changes have been a definite improvement. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot the wheels right now are like super bugged. Oh, he's not super bugged, but they definitely bugged. I think it's like anything over like 20 wheels, like they don't work. Um, it's something It's something that the uh, development team is working on. But probably sh should have done ships or something like that. But I just knew these, uh, these entries for this tournament were kind of pushing in uh, the old version. We're sort of pushing the uh, limits of uh, what my machine is capable of. But so far here seems really good. Doesn't I mean it, it's getting a little bit of lag? Like I said, dropping down at times um, to 15, 20 FPS. But even so, it doesn't. We're not getting those periodic, you know, full like full second freezes, which kind of make the the lag feel a lot worse than it might actually be. Yeah, overall this is totally bearable. And just to give you an idea how many blocks are in play, the T-34 is 
8,000 blocks, a little over 8,000 blocks. And the Titan Buster is... Yeah, just over 8,000 blocks as well. So about uh, a little over 16,000 blocks in play. As well as quite a few missiles and lots of APS rounds. Looks like the Titan Buster is busted. Lose it its barrel. Yeah, you can see it lost its barrel. But overall, these are taking the damage a whole lot better. You can see the uh, changes in 2.0. The armor buffs are really paying off for making um, armor a lot more worthwhile. But I'm not going to watch the, the whole battle. I think that was enough to kind of get a feel for the new performance and let's go ahead and uh, fire this up in the old unity 4 version all right and this is us loaded back up we are in the unity 4 version the current uh, public version and i think just like right off the bat like it just you move around, it feels okay, but it feels just a little bit like jerky or something. Like the, the screen doesn't move smoothly, it kind of jumps. Uh, it's hard to explain. I'm not sure if that will pick up in the video. I imagine it will. Oh, it's not showing my... Oh, I'm not in Steam, so it's not showing the FPS. Is there a way to... I don't think there's a way to bring it up. So I guess it'll, it'll just have to be a... Uh, sort of visual um, comparison we, we won't have the actual numbers but this is uh, I, I did look up who these were this is the Titan Buster is by Thompson and the T-34 was by Thunder Panzer yeah it feels a little bit a little bit jerky but uh, overall, the textures, I guess they don't look quite as different. Maybe they just look different since the, uh, the last time um, I had them loaded in for the actual tournament. Alright, and let's see what happens when I unpause it. Oh yeah, they were, we're fully locked there. Screen froze. Oh, I actually hit pause again, I think. There we go. Yeah, you can see those little stutters. Does not feel as smooth. Yeah, I have to say, I guess the, uh, obviously, I, I don't, like I said, I don't have the actual numbers for the FPS. The FPS doesn't feel that bad, but, um, I, I don't think there's a huge improvement in FPS between, uh, the Unity 4 and Unity 5, but just the, the smoothness of the, uh, animations seems to be a whole hell of a lot better. Like this, like, watching this to my eyes seems jerky. Whereas in the uh, the new version, it seemed still felt pretty smooth, and obviously these these vehicles are exactly the same. 
Yeah, the explosions, like I said, the explosion visuals aren't bad, but I think in the, the new version they just look a little bit uh, cleaner. A little bit more realistic. Not quite as, you know, video gamey. But I think that's enough to kind of get a feel for it. I'm going to go ahead and end the battle right here. Um, let me know down in the, the comments below what, what you think, how it uh, affected your machine. Um, it seems like... I, I have like a, about a mid-range machine, I guess you could say. I have an i3 in an old uh, HD5850 video card. So not uh, top of the line, but not, not too bad of a uh, rig. Not, uh, not potato class, I suppose. Um, I guess I, I've heard that people with really high-end machines didn't really experience that much of a boost. But uh, to me, it seems pretty good. And uh, let me know down in the comments, you know, what, what kind of machine you're running. And uh, if you notice a difference between the old version and the new version. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.